hello my amazing people of god and welcome back to gloria emmanuel god bless every one of you my old subscribers god bless you my year to join the family i appreciate every one of you god bless every one of you abundantly please as you're subscribing to this channel i want you to subscribe to you wealth is a spirit go out there and decode it until Welcome back, my wonderful, wonderful, amazing, gorgeous, awesomely awesome fellow YouTubers, my returning subscribers, and those who are even watching with our subscriptions, you guys, I love you all. Welcome back to Call for a Purpose. Remember, you are born and you are called for a purpose on this very planet Earth. Yes, today we are going to talk about wealth through the eyes of the Lord. Did you believe that? That we make well through the eyes of the Lord. How do God see us? I want you to understand that wealth is a spirit. It is spiritual. It is not about how, you know, serious you are, how hard you can work. It's not about what you do. It's not about what you know. It is about what is backing you up child of god what is backing you up determines how you go in life what is backing you up determines your level of breakthrough in life if somebody haven't sold in your future in the past it is time for you to stand up and so not only for your future for your today but also for your future and your unborn generation do you understand me? It is the commandment of God. Let's read about Solomon in the book of First Kings, chapter 3. We're going to read verse 9. He said, Therefore, give to your servant an understanding heart to judge your people that I may descend between good and evil. For who is able to judge these great people of your of yours? The speech pleased the Lord that Solomon had asked this thing. But before verse 9 and 10, he said here, in verse 10, he said, Now, O Lord my God, you have made your servant the king instead of my father David. But I am a little child. I do not know how to go or come in. In verse 6, he said, And Solomon said, You have shown great mercy to your servant David, my father. Because he walked before you in truth and in righteousness. God is about to bless Solomon. Not because of Solomon, no, but because of David. What is speaking for you have a long way to detail you, have a long way to blossom you. Child of God, I don't know what is speaking for you, but I'm here to challenge you that the power to make wealth, it is in you if you can activate it today. Even if nobody have done anything for you in the past. Remember that when God visited Jacob, it was not because of Jacob, but because of Abraham. He said, you cannot cause who God have already blessed. God have already blessed Isaac and Jacob through the loss of Abraham. I don't know how your past is deterring you, is draining you, is squeezing life out of you, but I'm here to challenge you that it is time for you to rise up and ask God to open your spiritual eyes to understand because it is not by your excess labor. It is by the mercy of God. And for that reason, it is not about what you do, but about what is backing you. I pray that God will open our spiritual understanding. I pray that God will open up our spiritual understanding so that we can understand the secret. The secret is sowing. The secret is preparing a way for your children. My brothers and sisters, do not eat everything you have without clearing the road for your children. 
Look at the blessings of God on Solomon because of what David have already done. Look at the blessings of God upon Isaac and Jacob because of what Abraham have done. Why? Because they are in his loins. They are his children. What is backing you? I don't know. But I am here to open your eye towards the word of God. That as you are in this world, please open your hand. Give people, give soul to people. Do great things. Bless people with what you don't have to have the whole world, but you have to have a good repute. You have to have a good record. You have to be in good terms with people. You are so someday, one time, somebody is going to remember you. And that's the physical, the people of this world is the spirit is also remembering you. Remember that when uh, God asked someone to bless and anoint David. Samuel said no. It wasn't Samuel, but the spirit that is speaking in the life of the family of David. Did you hear any members of David's family in again? Breakthroughs in life. None of them. But David was walking, cracking his brain by killing the bears and the lion. David was writing his own future. David is bringing up a testimony. David is showing something that I can do something even though my past generation could not do it. I am able and because the mark of the Lord is upon me. Because I'm a child of God. Because my God is able. He was fighting. He was you know, walking towards, he was, you know, penetrating the unpenetratable. He was showing God that I am worthy. That was why God was able to pick him in the mix of how many brothers that signed him. Never you look down on your age. Never you look down. And never you allow your background, your circumstances. Even if, like I said, even if the apart generation did not clear the road for you, did not clear the bush for you, begin to clear that bush today. Begin to sow positively to your life. Begin to sow positively to your children. Begin to do numerous things. Begin to visit people you know that you are better off. No matter how small it is. The beggars in the street. You can cook food and visit them. The, 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 the motherless babies. The orphanages. Begin to sow towards your future and that of your children. That is how it is not about what you know. Let me tell you, you can come now, maybe in the church, maybe in a gathering. Somebody has come to bless. And the minute that person reached near you, it, you are the next person to be blessed. Either a phone call or wanting to, to just distract that person. Do you think it's happening ordinary? David was not choose among his brethren because David is a champion. No, because David has already prepared his future. I want you to begin to walk towards your future. Wealth is a spirit. It is not about who you know. It is not what I want. What you are capable of doing. It is not about what your strength. It is about what is backing you. May the Spirit of the Lord begin to back you today. May the favor of the Lord begin to back you today. May the Lord open your eyes to see the secret of making wealth. May God give you that code and may you decode it in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I cover you up with the blood of Jesus and I declare and I declare that what stop your past generation, what stop your brothers and sisters will not stop you. Rise up, child of God, and claim your victory in Christ Jesus until I come your way next time. I remain your sister. Remember Remember, wealth is a spirit. Work towards it, achieve it, and not only for yourself, achieve it for your future generation. Achieve it for your children. Achieve it for your unborn children, children, because you are an apple of God's eyes. You are like the David of your own generation. Until I come your way next time. Remember that it's a purpose that God brought you into this world. David could not allow the circumstances, the multitude, the trained armies to deter him, to distract him. David remained focused because David knew where he's going. So many people on this earth don't know where they are going. Even when his brothers was against him, even when a lot of things was against David, David said, no, I'm not going to allow these people to distract me. I'm not going to allow these people to Go take away this blessing from me. I am going to walk hard. I am going to face it. I am going to break the yoke and I am going to break through. He broke through. He broke forth and he is being remembered above all his brethren. Remember, he was the last born. So I don't know your position in the family. Remember Joshua. Remember Joseph. Remember so many people. So I don't know your position, but I know that my God is able to do above and beyond all that you can ever ask or imagine. Like I said, Wealth is a spirit. Go out there and decode it until I come your way next time. Bye bye. Thank you for watching. If the video interests you, please share.